Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to go over some updates that 343 has announced as well as the Tenrai event that's coming next week, some changes that we're going to see with that event, and just kind of get an overall vibe check on the Halo community. First up, the Halo support Twitter account, or X account, I actually refuse to call it X, tweeted out that five infinite rotational playlist slots were updated. The featured one is the combat workshop for the stockpile game mode which replaced Tusky Raid, and to be honest, I was thinking, you know, what happened to the Combat Workshop? Because we saw it, like, literally one time, like, months ago, so it's nice to see that it's back. There were a lot of changes made for the Stockpile Game Mode, although there is a glitch out there that I will not show you how to do, but it basically gets you, like, a ton of XP. The Arena Rotational is now Social Objectives, which replaced Social Slayer. Ranked Rotational is Ranked Snipers, which replaced Ranked Tactical, and I'm going to be playing some Ranked Snipers. The Doubles Rotation is now Team Doubles instead of Community Doubles, but they also added the Community-made Forge maps to the Team Doubles playlist, so it's kind of the same, but different. And Lone Wolves has replaced Free For All Slayer. Thank you, Jesus, I love Lone Wolves. In my opinion, Lone Wolves is like the best playlist game thing that Halo Infinite has. I just absolutely love it. But before we get into the Tenrise stuff, I just want to say thank you all for all the support you've been showing me. We have been absolutely killing it with new subscribers and likes and views, and it's pretty much the best the channel has ever done, ever. Like I said, the goal is to hit 15k. Like, over 90% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed. So if just a little bit of you did it, we would hit it in no time. So if you love Halo content, make sure you subscribe. So Halo tweeted out a nice little video saying the sound of battle, honored blades, and shattered shields, Tenrai will return. And it shows off a Yoroi themed map. I don't know if there's only going to be one map or if there's going to be multiple ones, but it's very cool that we're finally seeing like themed maps around game modes and events. I think that that makes the event actually feel a little bit more special, a little bit more unique, and that's something that Halo has definitely needed. Now with that, we also get some new rewards from like the emblems to armor to a little stance. So I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. But again, I'm just happy that it feels like events are starting to feel a little bit more unique. I hope they keep expanding on that going forward. There's been a ton of rumors and I guess leaks regarding Season 5. And I think we're all going to be pleasantly surprised if this stuff is true. Now, again, like I say with every leak video and rumor video, it's take it with a grain of salt. But honestly, I'm getting very excited. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And, and if you made it this far in the video, the comment of the video will be Nine Tails, the Pokemon, the Fox Pokemon, because uh, one of the emblem things for the Tenrai event is Kitsune, which is like Fox in Japanese, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. And I will catch you all around the ring. Peace!